Hey everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. I'm here today with SAP's Jeff Ryder and we're gonna talk about the Utilities of Tomorrow contest. Jeff, uh, can you tell me, first of all, what is the Utilities of Tomorrow contest and what's the thinking behind it? Where did it come from? Hey, thanks very much, Tom, and welcome everyone. So the Utility of Tomorrow contest came about um, in conversations between our uh, utility team, a sustainability team, and our utility customers who are really struggling to connect with their end, end users, end users of electricity, but also um, in waste management and water utilities. Um, and they need, they need to connect to their customers to kind of uh, get them involved in programs and shape their behavior in ways that are sustainable and beneficial. Um, but a lot of us, you know, it, it's kind of a dull topic. It's not usually on the top of mind of most consumers. A lot of them read their utility bills once or twice a year or just pay them automatically, you know, so not a lot of engagement there. Um, but how do we foster that engagement? Well, we see the, um, you know, university students as uh, really innovative thinkers who are very, you know, involved in digital technology and wise about how to use it. And they have innovative ideas, especially as future, as the utility customers of the future they will be able to provide uh, innovative ideas. This is a way to get the utilities and those folks together. If I'm in a university and I have a couple of friends and we have this awesome idea, what do we do? Where do we go? Okay, well, go ahead and, and just uh, go to the website, which is, um, you can go to your favorite search engine and type Utility of Tomorrow Contest, and it should take you right to our webpage. And the entries? Right, so the entries themselves, so we're, we're looking for maybe a, a three-page format that you write yourself like a document and submit it in Word format or PDF. And then we're looking for maybe 800 words. And you could go longer if you want, but you know, maybe maybe 1,500 words, maybe uh, six or seven pages would be the recommended limit so that um, you get, you know, the judges all read on the entire material <laughs> and don't ship for anything. Um, we welcome um, diagrams and tables if that would help. But again, basically 800 words the key thing is you know, we, we ask you to describe the entry, right? A good description of the entry, the value proposition, key activities, resources, and partners that are needed to, to realize the idea. And then we also like, um, like to keep this grounded, something that can actually be realized in the next one to three years. So for that purpose, um, we'd like a little bit of a business analysis, basic cost information, uh, what are the raw materials that are involved, um, and maybe something about the social benefits or the revenue. Now, this doesn't have to be a for-profit enterprise even. It can be even a, a money-losing proposition, but that's okay as long as the, the social benefits are great enough to justify it. How does the judging work after that? Well, we have a distinguished panel of judges from SAP and our utility partners, and each one is going to get, it will basically be judged by uh, at least two judges each entry, and then ranked, and then we'll, uh, some will be selected as winners, some will also be acknowledged as finalists for being high quality. Okay, and what are the prizes? What do I get if, I, if, I, if I'm a finalist or if I win? That's actually key to the contest. We worked backwards from the prize. <laughs> and the prize is to get uh, our utility and SAP engineers in the same room with the winners. And we're going to choose five winning teams. Uh, a winning team can be a single person with their idea or a team of two. And we're going to fly them to Palo Alto, California for a week-long workshop. And then we're going to basically realize your idea together with the engineers. What are you guys hoping to get from this? And if, I, if I'm submitting something, is there something in particular I should, I should be aiming towards? I think it's uh, diagnosing in your area what would be um, a challenge for the utility company that you see. Now, it could be on the electric side. So the electric power utility is struggling with uh, integrating green energy into the grid, uh, smart appliances in the home, maybe connecting to them and... and having behavioral modification around that. Um, electric vehicles, how do you integrate electric vehicles into your community? And the utilities in some parts of the world need to take a lead on that, on the infrastructure too. Um, and then also uh, water and waste management. There are problems in, in water use and tracking it, um, disposing properly of waste. I mean, there are a lot of topics. So basically diagnosing the problems that you see and then uh, offering an innovative solution that might involve a mobile app and that mobile app would connect the utility to the consumer. It might be a gamified, a gamified app where you get points for doing something uh, sustainable. Great. Jeff, that's been fantastic. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Tom.